Today I'm going to venture into a topic that's very close to my heart. I retired at 44, so today I'm going to get into the subject of why you should retire early. In this video I'm going to walk you through five compelling reasons why you should retire early. Stick around to the end because I've got some thought-provoking questions to ask you that'll make you reconsider the age that you should retire. Okay, let's dive into this topic. Reason number one, health. I retired at 44, now I'm 63. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt that I was in much better health at 44 than I am at 63. Now don't get me wrong, I'm in good health and I'm three stone lighter than I was when I was 44. But at 63, I can tell that my health isn't as good as it was then. I've got some gallbladder problems. I'm starting to suffer from a bit of arthritis. Things aren't as good as they once were. My energy levels are definitely not as high as they were at 44. I think it was a good thing that I retired at 44 because I had a lot more energy and I didn't have any health issues. I also got to spend quite a lot of time indulging my hobbies and my interests, things like hiking, strength training, and just walking in general, all of which improved my health overall, but I can't get away from the fact that I am nearly 20 years older, so I'm not as vital, I don't have the vitality that I had when I was 44. Retiring early often means that you're in better health than if you were to retire, say, in your 60s. And that's not something to be dismissed. Also, retiring early means less stress. You don't have the stresses that you have when you work. And less stress means better health. And better health means living longer and healthier. And who doesn't want that? My second reason is time. As I said earlier, I retired at 44. But I'll be honest with you, it was a bit of a knee-jerk reaction to something that happened in my life. My father passed away at age 74 with cancer just one year before I retired. And one year earlier, he was in good health, he was full of vitality, he was playing sport, he had a golf handicap of 14, fast forward one year, and he was dead. When I was 43, I didn't really plan to retire at 44. I did plan to retire probably in my 50s, so I had a profound thing that happened in my life which made me bring my retirement date forward. You don't have to do that. If you're in your 40s, or 50s for that matter, and you've got a young family, your parents are still alive, this is the most precious time that you can spend with them. One day your children will be grown up and you won't get to spend as much time with them. My son is now 25, he lives in London, I live 200 miles away. Whilst I get to see him quite a lot, it's nothing like it was when I was 44. I got to almost be his constant companion other than attending the classes with him, which obviously wouldn't have been a good thing, uh, I got to do a lot with him. We played sport, we travelled the world, along with his mum, of course, and I just had a lot of quality time with my son. I didn't get that quality time with my father, obviously, because he had passed away. So I urge you to think long and hard about your retirement date. Do you really want to retire when you're in your 60s? Because by then, chances are your children will have grown up and your parents might have passed away. Swapping work time for time with your family is something you won't regret. At number three, I have relationships. Relationships are at the heart of everything. Retirement isn't just about withdrawing from work. It's also an opportunity to connect with old friends. It's an opportunity to support your worthy causes. But more importantly, as I've already mentioned, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to invest in your relationships with your family. As I mentioned previously, I got a lot of opportunity to spend time with my family, with my son and with my wife. We travelled extensively throughout the world. Rather than having four weeks holiday, which is what I used to get when I was at work, I got the opportunity to have 12, 14, 16 weeks and we made the most of it. We went to New Zealand, Australia, Singapore, Brazil, Dubai. We travelled the world. When I was running my business, I only had two weeks. I was frightened to take any more than that. I didn't know what crisis or disaster would be facing me when I got back. But that wasn't the case following early retirement. I got to invest in the relationships. I got time to spend with my family. 
and that was just the most precious time. We had so many moments together during our travels and I'll treasure those memories forever. Reason number four is passions. It's about taking time to do things that ignite your spirit. There are endless possibilities when you step off the career treadmill. I developed a passion for travel and early retirement gave me an opportunity to indulge that passion, but not just on my own, also with my family, with my son and my wife. I mentioned earlier the type of places that we travel to. They were on my bucket list and I actually got to tick them off. Not just that, I got to indulge my second passion, which is also travel related, which is cruise ships. The reason we got to travel so extensively across the world is that we went on cruise ships and I love cruise ships. If I didn't have a YouTube channel about a retirement lifestyle, I definitely have a YouTube channel about cruise ships. I don't go on enough cruises to shoot enough footage to sustain a video channel on the subject though, but I would like to. My final reason is freedom. Retirement gives you the freedom to do what you want. You have the freedom to work if you want to. You have the freedom to travel. You have the freedom to invest in your relationships. These are all things that it's hard to do when you're working long hours and you're only taking a few weeks holiday a year. I was very much an absent father, I'll admit that. I'm not proud of it, but I was an absent father. However, retirement changed all that. It gave me freedom. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that if you stuck around, I'd ask you some thought provoking questions. And this is the question I'm going to ask you. Are you ready to retire? If I can just put some context behind that question, retirement isn't just about being financially ready. It's also about being mentally ready. I'll admit that even though I was financially ready, I definitely was not mentally ready. You already know that my reason for retiring was as a knee jerk reaction to the death of my father. And I made the decision to bring my retirement forward by at least 10 years. I'm glad I did, but I definitely wasn't prepared. I would urge you to prepare. Stopping work after 20 odd years of being all in and suddenly finding yourself with a lot of time on your hands can mess up your brain. Despite the freedom that retirement gave me, there were times when my mood was low. Some would call it depression. I was never diagnosed as such because I never sought help for it, but I did feel low at times. The reason for that is that I hadn't made any plans, proper plans for what I was gonna do when I didn't have work. So I would urge you to think long and hard as to whether or not you're mentally ready, because if you're not, it's not easy to be retired. I know that sounds madness, but it's true. It's not easy to be retired after being all in. So I would urge you prepare. And that means prepare yourself financially, but also prepare yourself mentally. So that's my take on early retirement. I hope something in there resonated with you. If it did, please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will of course answer any comments that you have, any questions that you have. Thank you for joining me today. And if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe. It'll help this channel get going. Until next time, make the most of every second.